There's something beautiful about light painting, and it's so inherent in cars to begin with. Well, it started out as driving can be beautiful, just having the car trailing light, you know, slow exposures, because it requires speed. And then it finally came to us to then figure out whether or not we could use the cars turning and the momentum to actually design a shape. From the very start, it was, let's do this for real. Let's challenge ourselves to not rely on, on uh, wizardry. When you're forced to do it in camera, you have to pay attention to those details. You have to make sure all the elements are there, and it's unmistakably real. I think authenticity is key. There's a certain amount of going through great lengths to make it happen. I love the true craftsmanship. When you're given the freedom, you're also given the responsibility of how do I make this as best as it can be? And the only restriction is that we actually have to pull it off. This is the idea of marrying brush strokes of light into motion picture, which is unachievable in motion picture alone. So the marriage of those stills and long exposures with the motion. Yeah, I kind of fell in love with just the painterly quality of all of that together. You're sort of blind here. It's like everything from above is easy to see. And down here, I couldn't even tell what was what. They just talked us through where to drive. Then we marked it with these small little reflector markers. I was just following these little lights and hoping I was in the right spot. It started off as a pretty simple concept, but technically it's proven to be you know, somewhat of a challenge. But at every turn, there's been a way. We took a still camera and a motion picture camera and aligned them through a partial mirror. So both imagers on both cameras were capturing the same image. One was capturing a long exposure of a still and the other one a motion picture. I think my favorite types of things are things that have a documentary element to it, which means there's some reality to it, but something that is very beautiful and is very visual. This is the last bogey that we need to move in order to clear our track. Jamie, your first three was good, but when you came down to four, you entered on three and exited on four. Copy that. I just turned the light now. It was turned the wrong way. OK, can you set yourself up for three again? Well, I think an idea is very delicate. When you start having a lot of people, you need to make sure everyone buys into the same vision. That's probably the most difficult thing, is rallying everybody to see the same type of vision. And then once you do, it's like when everyone starts getting together, you actually see magic.